the U.S. Air Brigade helicopters arriving in Germany, preparing for their deployment further to the east. Transport and combat aircraft are just part of much stronger U.S. military deployment into Europe. Their land troops are already there, or on their way to the Eastern European Allied countries. This train carries U.S. Army tank battalion through Romania to its final destination, a Black Sea port of Constanza, just a hand throw away from Russia. The U.S. and NATO are saying that there is a real Russian threat to the Eastern European countries like Baltic states, Bulgaria, Romania and Poland. That's why U.S. troops are sent to support Eastern European partners. That move is being widely welcomed here in Romania. We have the popular support, public space support, media, political support, and we don't have any party who would argue or have a question mark or, or discussing in any, in any way uh, that, uh, that choice. This deployment doesn't lack public support in the Baltic states, Poland, and here in Romania. The U.S. troops that are arriving there are combat ready. Here they are just weeks ago, training in Poland, setting their gun sights and preparing for the move to the east. All of these platforms will roll off the train ready to fight. We will roll off the train combat ready, so we can fight from day one rolling off the train. Something that Russia is nervous about. But how real is boogeyman of alleged Russian threat? Consider coming in Sarah. I believe that the Russian threat is real, but it is not as dramatic as it appears in line with the propaganda agencies. There is indeed a threat from Russia for the Baltic countries and those that have a missile shield or NATO troops. And after the last week's flyby incident in the Black Sea and big NATO fleet maneuvers there, one thing is for sure, Russia-NATO tensions are on the rise. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Bucharest.